She will be target, uh, talking about the targeting of the Métis Indians in America. Please welcome Dr. Billy Guarino. organizers for giving me a platform today where uh, people from different faiths, uh, Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, and even atheist community can come together, um, synergize, and raise a unified voice against hate. Um, today, I speak on behalf of the under underrepresented Beite Hindu community who have become a quote-unquote micro-minority in the land of our own birth, um, which is Manipur. We have been demonized, we have been subjected to unimaginable hate over the past few months. As we address the rise of Hindu hate, we cannot ignore the tragedy unfolding in Manipur in northeastern India, uh, especially to apply, to apply to the Maitei community. The slow genocide of the Maitei's is a stark reminder of the pervasive nature of discrimination, disinformation campaigns, and subjugation. Um, in the 2001 census, Maitei Hindus comprise 62% of the population of Manipur. In 10 years, in 2011, the, um, the number plummeted to 41.39%, and for a relative comparison, Christians um, constitute about 41.29%, but in the media, we, there will always be this minority majority um, discourse that one would see. And today, in 2024, if we go by the trend and extrapolate, the Maitei Hindu population could have reduced to another 20 in the last 10 years. The 2021 census has not been, uh, has been delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So over an extended duration, the Maitei populace has endured systemic marginalization, targeted acts of aggression, and deliberate efforts aimed at erasing our cultural identity. We have been pushed to the periphery of societal discourse, our voices silenced, and identities vilified. The territorial boundaries of Manipur has been encroached upon, our cultural legacy undermined, and our very existence jeopardized. The translations committed against the Métis cannot be dismissed as isolated occurrences. Rather, they epitomize a broader continuum of discrimination and subjugation entrenched within a societal framework and the overall rise of Hindu hate all over the world. The vilification of the Métis populace represents a blatant uh, uh, infringement upon our fundamental human rights, casting a pall over our collective moral conscience. And I have uh, an example here of 393 temples, including a 200-year-old Shiv, uh, 200 Shiv Mandir, which has been destroyed. The destruction of Hindu temples represent a profound violation of religious freedom, uh, which uh, Tejo Z also talked about, cultural heritage and human dignity. Throughout history, Hindu temples have served as sacred spaces for worship, community gatherings, and cultural celebrations. They stand as tangible symbols of spiritual devotion, architectural progress, and historical continuity. Move to the next slide. So, if you see here, this was the temple, the, the Shiv temple that was vandalized. I wouldn't even call it vandalized. The whole thing was flattened. And you can see a symbolic beheading of, uh, of, of Lord Shiv here. The Shivalingam was completely destroyed, and this is what is, ha what is happening in Manipur right now. Um, the desecration of these sacred sites have erased, erased centuries of cultural, cultural and religious heritage. It undermines the principles of um, tolerance, pluralism, and mutual respect that are the bedrock of a democratic society. Uh, some cases, apart from this, are the desecration of indigenous sacred sites in Manipur. This is uh, a, a Nag Mandir uh, that has been destroyed. Indigenous sites at, the, at Mount, Ka Mount Kalguru and Tangjin Hills. These are uh, religious sites that could be comparable to, say, like Mount Kailash, where people you know, have pilgrimages uh, every year. Um, in May, also, in Maitei culture, it is customary, as Tejoji has also pointed out, that where every household maintains a Mandir or a designated space of worship within its premises. And tragically, numerous Maitei houses have been burned and flattened. Uh, like when I say flattened, the houses have been completely destroyed with JCBs and you don't, nothing left of those houses. It's just like, it's just 
rubble, rubble left now. Um, not only dwelling, but also sacred places of reverence. So I do have like 393 temples that were destroyed, but with the 2,500 plus houses that, that were destroyed, all mandirs within the household and outside the household have also been destroyed. Um, today, uh, we must unequivocally condemn the wanton destruction of sacred sites and places of worship and hold accountable those responsible for such egregious acts. We must stand in solidarity with the Hindu community, affirming their right or our right to worship freely and safeguarding our sacred spaces from harm. The gradual uh, marginalization of, of the Maitei Hindus serve as a poignant reminder of the crucial need to confront hatred and intolerance in all their manifestations. And today, I appeal to everyone to stand in unwavering solidarity with the Maitei community. Help us amplify our voice and champion our cause for justice. Together, let us denounce the act of violence and discrimination and root out the vicious cycle of hate. We cannot lay claim to the ideals of justice and equity while overtly disregarding the plight of a marginalized Maitei Hindu community. Let us, let us pledge to support the Maitei community, reaffirming our steadfast uh, commitment to the cause of justice, uh, principles of tolerance, diversity, and mutual respect. And through collective endeavor, we can forge a future wherein every individual is accorded due reverence, irrespective of their ethnic lineage, religious affiliations, or socioeconomic standing. Thank you.